system. Welcome to the Hyperwall Lab. We're demonstrating the capabilities of the Hyperwall system. I'm standing in front of a Hyperwall that's built out of 20 monitors. Each is 46 inches. Total four monitors high, five monitors wide. What we're now going to do is demonstrate how easy it is to put content on the wall, manage it, and produce a really nice variety of multimedia display effects. I'm going to now go over to the control node and show how this whole thing works. This screen is the control node for the entire system. From it, I manage all the content that's displayed. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the logo of the Hyperwall system, slowly adjust its transparency from 0 to 100 percent, and then finally get rid of it. And behind it, you see a variety of content that's already been playing on the wall. First, the most basic type of content is a still image. And I can take this still image, move it anywhere I want, zoom in, zoom out, push it anywhere I want on the wall. And we can do this with any type of data, as I'll show. But uh, start with the most basic type, again, which is a still image, JPEG, BMP, PNGs, any of the standard data types are supported. When I'm done with it, I can leave it on the wall, or I can, on the control node, move it out of the way into the margins where it's available to stand by and can be brought back onto the wall at any time. Second type of content is a movie. And here you can see a video of Amazon Life. Again, we can move this around anywhere we want on the wall, zoom in, zoom out, reposition it. We can even rotate the video while it's playing. Fairly unique capability. And again, when I'm done with it, I can just move it out of the way. And even when it's out of the way in the margin, I can say, oh, I forgot to uh, rotate it and rotate it back to its normal perspective. There's another video that's playing here. Notice I've actually got three different videos playing on this at once. This one is uh, the second largest aquarium in the world. Again, I can resize this, reposition it. In fact, I can make it go to the entire wall, make it small. When I'm done with it, push it off to the side. Here is the third movie. This is a trailer of a commercial film uh, called The Proposal, starring Sandra Bullock. Can move that around again and push it anywhere on the wall. Notice we can position it without regard to the physical boundaries of the individual monitor. So I can make it cross pieces of multiple monitors, but also we have built into the system a function called Smart Snap, which allows you to position the content approximately where you want, just double click it, and then the system will intelligently resize it to fill the monitors it's partially positioned on. So I just did that to a two by two array. I'm now going to do it over here, position it approximately, double click, and it will go to fill a three by three. We can do that again with any piece of content, not just the movie. Done with that, I'll move it out of the way. Another piece of basic data type that we can show is what we call a screen center. So I'm going to take this one here, bring it up, and actually I'll use a double click to make that fill a three by three array with our smart snap function. This is now showing the screen of a computer. In fact, it is the second computer we're looking at here. And whatever happens on the screen of this computer is reproduced on the control node and on the wall. That gives us the ability to take any kind of application feed and put it on the wall. In this case, not only can I show that application, but I can even take over it remotely with this mouse. I can navigate around here. I can click on a button. and the uh, MSN application in this case will automatically change and I can manage not just this computer but many others. So let me now take that one, make it small, put it out of the way while that application continues to load, grab this other computer, make that a little bigger. Now that's currently showing a couple of windows. In this case there's a, a video being played through ABC News. I can take over this computer I can decide I'm going to move this one around a little bit. In fact, I can even minimize it, get behind it, and see another window, move that around, resize it, and actually even decide I'm going to play a video, a YouTube video, on this computer. And I will start that right now. This happens to be a video of a hyperwall at Brussels Airport. This is a 42-screen video one of the largest hyperwall installations around. 
and you can see that the YouTube video is being reproduced faithfully on the wall using our screen sender technology. I'm going to take that one, make it smaller, again push it off to the margin. Here we have a live video stream. Now this is actually a webcam pointed at the wall, so on the wall we see a video of the wall. However, this could be a webcam, a TV tuner feed, a DVD, any kind of live video content can be streamed to the wall and we can have multiple video feeds played on the wall at once. In fact, we can have clones. So what I can do is take this one up here, say I want to see another copy of it and I'll play that here and we can say I want to see another copy of it and I'll put that here. So these copies can be displayed simultaneously and we can do this for any of the content, for the movies, for the video feeds, for the screen centers. We can have these clones so multiple copies of that content can be showed on the wall at any given time. Get rid of some of those just by clicking on the close button. And finally, I'm going to take this last one and push it off to the side. Okay. Finally, what we have on the wall are two what we call slideshows. A slideshow is a way to take an area of the wall and have it automatically rotate through content. In this case, we have a couple of slideshows that are just showing still images, but in fact, slideshows can in include movie clips, live video feeds, and the application feeds. If we want to, we can even freeze one of the slideshows and manually step through the various pieces of content in the show. Do that first with the one and then with the other. Move these off the wall. You'll notice behind the wall, what we've got is a four by five array of gray rectangles, which represents the fact that we have 20 monitors in the wall. Right now, those monitors are all black. However, the system is very flexible. We can add more monitors at any time. We can take away monitors at any time. When we do that, the gray, area, gray rectangles will automatically disappear or reappear to show the current wall configuration. We can also support monitors that are not physical physically part of this wall, but are located in other locations of the facility. So in fact, the control node may have a 4x5 array for a large wall, a 3x3 three three for a smaller wall, and individual isolated gray rectangles to represent the fact that, that there are individual isolated satellite monitors located throughout various locations of the facility. That's our demonstration. I'm going to end by bringing this video of the world's second largest aquarium to full screen. Let that run momentarily, and we'll close. Hope you've enjoyed that, and hope you found it informative. Thank you.